Hello, this is Mark Boyer, and this is uh, a video that needs to be done, and uh, because uh, some clear signs of our end times as to Luke's prophecy and Isaiah's prophecy is uh, unfolding, and it really needs to be in note, uh, really needs to be taken note of. Okay, and uh, basically, it's a passage in Luke 21. And it reads, oh yeah, Luke 21, 20. When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you will know that its desolation is near. Okay? That is happening this summer with the Olympics. Okay? London is most definitely the seed of where the law of this unholy, uh, new World Order is, and the law has always been considered Jerusalem in the Bible. Now, the reality is, is this winter, this summer, with the Olympics, Jerusalem, London, is surrounded by armies. Okay, very clear reference. You know, it, it doesn't take rocket science to figure out that the city of London is Jerusalem, and it's being surrounded by armies. Okay? Now, let me repeat the phrase. When you see Jerusalem being surrounded by armies, you will know that its, desol that its desolation is near. Now, that sounds like, okay, a clear notice that you can expect something as a, uh, to, uh, an attempt to trigger World War III just might happen at the Olympics. And that is a sincere, because the people who orchestrate these events read the same Bible as I do. They also read the Talmud, and nothing ever came, ever good came from Nineveh. And that book was written entirely in Nineveh and a cursed document. Okay. Now, the reality in Isaiah, Isaiah 59, in that one, where it's outlining that uh, a solar flare and solar storm that redeems the world, it says there that from the West, we people will fear the name of our Lord. Now the reality is, is Jerusalem, or Lund Jerusalem is due east of London. And from the West, people will fear the name of the Lord. Okay. Now, personally, I consider myself the voice from the West in Vancouver who is offering the gentle spirit. And that is uh, being totally ignored. And frankly, it's well accepted. And I resign to the fact that I'm blasphemed. And I have to lay low. So says Daniel's 12, right at the end. Okay? And I'm not about to. And frankly, everything's in place for that to fulfill. The one who holds back will continue to hold back until taken out of the way. But the reality is, is there's a new West that appears. You know, like the voice from the West and people will fear the name of my Lord. Well, basically, Fukushima. Okay. When the nuclear thing happened last year, which triggered the 2300 evening, what happened on the 2300 evening and morning of my original denial of consent to be governed to be filed on just before Remembrance Day 2004 is a huge coincidence. But Fukushima has gone uh, and was from day one a China syndrome. And right now it's approaching the core. And uh, China syndrome is a theory. It's, uh, it's an outrage of what happens when a nuclear what when a nuclear when the core hits the lava and heat intensities of uh, the core of the earth, uh, my understanding is is that uh, uh, the heat sensors of that section of the world are showing are showing a huge like pinfall of heat buildup happening there, and the reality is is in my perception as I see clearly. And I can't back it up other than uh, faith that uh, the Gulf of Mexico was created by a 
nuclear meltdown just like this. Okay? And it's about to happen again. And that's all there is to it. Okay? Uh, my personal thing is we will fear the voice from the West. And it will come, it'll be, it'll, it'll be heard from the East and the, the horror of it will come from the West because the trade winds will carry it off. But literally, uh, authority and the authority are stuck in the mindset that everything in Revelation must happen. And at the end of Revelation, there's a clear mention there that, you know, one third of the world is destroyed by fire and still they refused. And uh, basically, uh, this is uh, beyond my control, beyond anything. I'm supposed to not bend to do. Uh, I think these publications may get me in trouble. But you know what? These are my interpretations of the Bible, and I'm allowed. Okay? I really am delivering the New Covenant. And I frankly think that as for 2 Thessalonians 2, just for good luck, I'll be taken out of the way when uh, the Antichrist comes up and uh, starts all these fraudulent miracles and wondrous signs to deceive all those who believe in a lie. And uh, that when they try to do that, uh, it's guaranteed to trigger paradise on earth and return to Jesus Christ through a uh, harvest. And that's all they wrote. And frankly, they want it to happen. Otherwise, someone would say, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. That's all it takes. So says Romans. And everyone, God will have mercy on us all. But it does, it's not going to happen without someone recognizing the message. And on that, you now we go one day at a time. But everything's in place for uh, total annihilation of mankind. And all it takes is for someone to be Lord. And on that, uh, sweet dreams are made of dreams. Who am I to disagree? Tell all the world I think the seven dreams. Everybody's looking for someone to come up with a message. Does it 